Hello YouTube, Flag1122. Let me get some music going here. It's very peaceful, calming. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Hope the YouTube pipe smoking community is happy and healthy. <coughs> anyway, uh, I was inspired by Spain Pipes' uh, video, the top five, his top five tobacco choices. So I thought I would uh, share my own. These are the tobaccos that I've been smoking regularly for the last month. Uh, so let's just get started. Uh, this first one is Dunhill, the Royal Yacht Mixture. Um, I know that Dunhill is not available in the States, but uh, here in Japan they are readily available. Uh, we have uh, Dunhill Royal Yacht 965 Early Morning Pipe and London Mixture. You don't see a uh, nightcap available or Elizabethan mixture in this country. Um, anyway, this is uh, it's a pretty straightforward, uh, you know, Virginia Burley mix. It's not my favorite from Dunhill by any means. Uh, it's for some reason, when I smoke this tobacco, my I don't know, my body chemistry must be sort of sensitive to it. I always get a little dizzy, and uh, I don't know. It, kind of makes my mouth feel tingly and funny, I, and I, it's only with the Royal Yacht that it does that, uh, so I don't really know why. <laughs> I've smoked, I think, three tins of it now, and each tin, my body reacts very strangely to it. So, uh, this will probably be my last tin of this. Uh, I like 965 and Early Morning Pipe much better than this one. Number two, uh, this is McBaron's Golden Blend, and a little pouch here. You know, uh, some people have, you know, given us really bad reviews, and TobaccoReviews.com, it's it's recommended, but there's been some pretty harsh reviews of it. However, you know, I really like this. Uh, it's just, you know, straight up burly with a little bit of Virginia in it. Uh, it's uh, ready rubbed, so it comes in, uh, I don't know if you can see this, it comes in like, a, you know, smaller flakes. It's rubbed out, and it's really easy to fill your pipe. And, it's, I noticed it uh, smokes very evenly. Some of the, I don't know, some of the flakes are actually pretty big. Uh, I like it. It's a really good price. Um, I'm definitely going to be buying more of it. Uh, number three is uh, H.H. McBaron's Vintage Syrian. I know a lot of you YouTube pipe smokers have smoked this and enjoyed it. And I thoroughly enjoy this and thoroughly recommend it myself. Uh, it is just a great English blend. Um, it's just a beautiful tobacco. The smell, it, it, it's very similar in my, in my experience to uh, Dunhill's 965. Maybe a little on the sweeter side. Um, but it, it's really great. Uh, I didn't buy this here in Japan. I picked it up actually. <laughs> I bought it off eBay. Uh, the shipping was really cheap. And, uh, it wasn't available here in Japan, but then right after I, I bought it on eBay, uh, there was the tobacconist in Tokyo. It, it was available, so, uh, oops. My uh, fourth choice is uh, Samuel Gowick's Full Virginia Flake. Of course, uh, this is legendary. Everybody knows about it. Um, it is one of my favorite flakes, although Aaron Moore Flake right now is my number one choice of flake tobacco. I really enjoy this. Uh, it tends to leave me a little fuzzy headed, a little dizzy, especially if I smoke it on an empty stomach. Uh, which, uh, if you're smoking uh, any sort of English flake, you, you've you got to smoke it on, on a full stomach. You have to eat something. Otherwise, you're going to be sick of the dog. Uh, this is a beautiful tobacco, though. Uh, it is available here in Japan. Uh, this and Squadron Leader are two of my go-to flakes for Samuel Gowan. Good stuff. Excellent. Uh, the fifth tobacco I wanted to talk to you about, uh, it's in a little jar here. Uh, it's, it's a tobacco that's only available in Japan. It's called Momoyama. Uh, it's actually Momoyama 2. They have, the Momo, Momoyama 1 I never tried. Uh, I guess, I don't know when they uh, discontinued its manufacturing, but I, think, I believe that this is made by McBaron or possibly Orlick tobaccos now, uh, but it's made for the Japanese market. And it, it's an aromatic tobacco, but let me tell you what, as aromatics go, you just cannot, you can't beat this really. 
I mean, it's not sickly sweet. It you know doesn't have a horrendous casing. And there's no bite that I could detect. Uh, it's a you know it's a ribbon cut, like you know, fairly beautiful. I think uh, it, it it almost has a a peach flavored plum flavor. Well, momo in in Japan means peach, so uh, maybe that has something to do with it. But uh, it has a very peach, very uh. uh you know, almost a wine, white wine. Uh, there's a plum wine in this country called umiboshi. Uh, it's very delicious. It's uh, made out of Japanese plums. It has that fragrance too. If anybody can find it, I definitely, you know, suggest Momoyama too. Uh, this country is very cheap. Um, I don't know if you can find it in uh, online sales. It's possible. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm smoking the last month. Um, I took a lot of people's advice on uh, my uh, tobacco storage video about my tobacco tin compulsive disorder and I picked up a lot of jars. This was actually a salsa jar <laughs> that I cleaned out and uh, turned into a little tobacco jar. But I went out and went to the dollar store, basically what the dollar store equivalent in Japan, <clears throat> it's called the Daiso. And I bought myself a whole bunch of these, uh, you know, ready sealed jars that have a little clasp on it. And uh, I think that's going to solve all my problems. Anyway, the weather in this country is, uh, uh, it's completely bipolar. It goes from being about, you know, 65 degrees one day to about, you know, 45 degrees the next day. It's just flopping all over the place. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the weather these days. Uh, Anyway, I hope you guys are having a nice week, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.